Hey everybody, Mike here with Day's Concrete Floors. Now today we're going to talk about concrete mixing ratios. And we're going to talk about specifically the mixing ratios for 3,000, 3,500, 4,000, and 4,500 PSI concrete. Now these are the four mix designs we use the most when we pour our concrete floors, our concrete slabs, our pool decks, our patios, our driveways. These are the four we use the most. So that's why I wanted to talk about these with you. How, how could you achieve these strengths of concrete if you're going to mix concrete by yourself? That's what we're going to talk about. And this is a page on my website. You can find this page if you want to read through it. Um, but I thought I'd make a quick video about it. So these are the actual concrete tickets we get when we pour concrete. Now this load was an 8 yard load of 3000 PSI concrete and we was probably just pouring a simple concrete floor with this. But the, the cool thing about these tickets is they break down the weights right here of each individual ingredient. So what I did was I transferred those onto my page so I could break down the mixing ratios for you. So this, this was an 8 yard ticket and with 8 yards of concrete there was 4,086 pounds of cement in that 8 yards. There were 13,270 pounds of stone and there were 11,970 pounds of sand. And that basically breaks down to a mixing ratio of 1 part cement to 3.25 parts stone to 2.93 parts sand if you want to be really specific. So rounded off that's basically a 1 to 3 to 3 mix ratio if you want to achieve 3000 PSI concrete. And 3000 PSI con concrete is basically the equivalent of 20 MPA concrete. I also broke this down into weights per yard for you. So I broke it down even smaller. Let's say if you needed to mix about a yard of concrete you'd know exactly the, how, how much cement you'd need, 510 pounds, how much stone, and how much sand. And that basically equals what's called a 5.5 or 5.5 sack mix of concrete. Next, how much water do you need to mix that concrete up? Well, the water is going to vary depending on how stiff or how wet you want your concrete to be. I mean, generally we pour around what's called a, a five inch slump to a six inch slump. That's the term used to measure the, the flowability of the concrete. Um, these, these numbers right here are probably for more like a four inch slump, which is something a little stiffer. So they used about 27 gallons of water per cubic yard to get about a 4-inch slump. So in that 8-yard load, that was about 225 pounds of water. Now for a 3,500 PSI mix, if you needed to mix a little bit stronger concrete, this ticket was for a 10.5-yard load. It says 10.5 right there. And it breaks down the ingredients. It gives you the water the cement, the stone. We use a three quarter inch stone and a three eighths inch size stone in our mixes. And then the sand. So in, in this 10 and a half yards, we had 5,805 pounds of cement, 17,110 pounds of stone, and 15,440 pounds of sand. So that's basically to, if you want to get real specific, that's one part cement to 2.95 parts stone to 2.66 parts sand. So if you want to round that off, that's a one to three to two and a half mix ratio for 3,500 PSI concrete. So you got a little bit more cement content and then they, they backed off a little bit on the sand to give you a stronger mix design. And that's equal to a 2500 MPA concrete mix. One part cement, three part stone, two and a half parts sand. 
Now a 4,000 PSI mix, which is even, an even stronger concrete. Okay, this ticket was for four and a half yards. So we, they broke down the cement, 2,810 pounds of cement, 8,250 pounds of stone, 5,620 pounds of sand. That comes out to one part cement to 2.93 parts stone to only two parts sand. So that's a one to three to two mix ratio if you're mixing this by hand. If you were, if you were, if you had the the bit the pl the plain ingredients on the ground, you had cement, you had a pile of stone, and you had a pile of sand. You could take one shovel full of cement, three shovelfuls of stone, and two shovelfuls of sand, and you'd be pretty close to a 4,000 psi mix ratio if all the shovelfuls were both the same. Uh, and I broke that down per yard for you if you need to mix about a yard of concrete, uh, 624 pounds in a yard. And for a yard of 3,500, let's look look how many yards were, how many pounds were in that. There was 553 pounds of cement in the 3,500 PSI concrete, 553, and there's 624 pounds in the 4,000. So that's like another whole bag of concrete. 4,000 PSI mix is basically a six and a half sack mix of concrete. 4,000 PSI concrete's equivalent to a 30 MPA mix design also. So the last one we have here is a 4,500 PSI concrete mix. Now what's the mixing ratios for that? Well, this ticket, this ticket was for six yards it had 4,215 pounds of cement, it had 9,520 pounds of stone, and it had 7,300 pounds of sand. So that basically breaks down to a one part cement, 2.26 parts stone, and 1.73 parts sand. I don't know if you noticed, but as we, as we get higher in the PSI of the concrete, we get lower in the the sand ratio so they're up in the cement they're lowering the sand a little bit and the stone is staying pretty close to the same uh, you can you can look that at that a little closer on this page but uh, if we break that down per yard now we have 702 pounds of cement per yard for a 4500 psi mix 1587 pounds of stone and 1,217 pounds of stand. So this would be considered a seven and a half sack mix of concrete. And that's gonna be, so So uh, basically what's the difference between the 3,000 PSI concrete versus the 4,000 PSI concrete? Well, the main difference is the amount of cement used. A cubic yard of concrete, whether it's 3,000 or 4,000, weighs about 4,000 pounds. So it doesn't matter the PSI, the weight of a cubic yard of concrete is about the same no matter what. The difference is in how much cement they're putting in and how much they're tweaking the sand and the stone. So if there's 511 pounds of cement in a 3,000 PSI mix, then there's 624 pounds of cement in a 4,000 PSI mix for making one yard of concrete. In simple terms, the more cement per yard equals the higher PSI or the higher strength concrete. Now, I also broke down what we use 3,000 PSI concrete for and what we use 4,000 PSI concrete for. 3,000 3, PSI mix for us is a basic foundation wall mix, basic footing mix, uh, residential house and garage floors, some small commercial buildings, you know, like like a Burger King or a McDonald's or a bank or something like that. And some larger interior commercial buildings, say for like a school or maybe a hospital or something big like that, they can use 3,000 PSI concrete. That's plenty strong enough. For 4,000 PSI concrete, we use 4,000 for all our stamp concrete is 4,000 PSI because it's all exterior. 4,000, everything we pour exterior is at least 4,000 PSI. Our pool decks, any sidewalks and patios we do, 
any concrete driveways, uh, commercial garage floors that are, you know, need to hold a lot of weight for, like, say, dump trucks, bulldozers, anything heavy like that. Uh, commercial retaining walls, um, commercial foundation footings and walls, a lot of them are specced at 4,000 PSI. Now, what's the difference between uh, a PSI and MPA? The difference basically is PSI means pounds per square inch. That's the American unit of measurement. And MPA means mega megapascals. Um, this is the metric version of, of measuring concrete. So if you were gonna if you're gonna mix these by hand, you can just use the mixing ratios above and and break them down that way to get your different strengths. So if you like this video, you know, hit the like button, uh, share it, share it with your friends so it can get seen more. And if you like these kinds of videos, you know, hit the subscribe button, then hit the little bell so that'll notify you when uh, whenever I have a video coming out. Thanks. Have a good day.